Good evening, chaps and chapettes. Roger here, and welcome back to Frostbite. Last time, this uh, poor sod Roger found himself in a real-life version of the thing, quite literally. So we've uh, finally gotten into the office. We know we need to get fuse, electrical cable, and motor oil, and where they mostly are. But more importantly, I've gotten the kitchen and room F keys, so now I know where I'm going. Right. Holy shit, you're a big bugger. Oh. Ow, you hit hard. Okay, maybe that's, uh... Change things up a notch. Maybe it's because he was a big birdie bugger. But okay, one punch does a bar of damage. Because I was already hurt from the dog that did half a bar. Fair enough. Oh, and I got some revolver ammunition. And uh, annoyingly, because um, the short there's shortcutted um, items. What do I do? Yeah, I had a had a, one of my one of my warm drinks by accident. I didn't want to do that because I keep going to automatically swap weapons with the num with the numpad keys, the n number keys even. Meal schedule. Okay, that's probably going to be for a puzzle. If you want to get into the storage shed, just wait until dinner. Ah, okay. Want to get into the storage shed, just wait until dinner. 7.35pm. Okay, so 075 or 19.35. It's one of those. Okay, well now I know that. Simon, oh, who I'm presuming I just shot in the face. Heat drink, that's good. That actually seems to be more important than like health and whatnot. Ah. Okay, I'm doing alright. Ah, more room keys. So I know it's uh, room C. Ah, room C is the one which has the key to lab B, which is where I'm presuming there must be the ladder up to up to the radio mast on the top. Either that or some tool or melting substance that allows me to get up there. Okay, that's, no that's not the eyes that I've been talking about. It's just a, a thingy. Okay, so a nice load of loot. Nice, 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 nice. And... Okay, just... Random thing. Oh, I see. So... Okay, so I could have kited him in here and not gotten punched in the chops. That's alright. But at least he punched. At least he didn't grab. Maybe on Nightmare Mode, it's a one-hit kill. Now, that would be a horror game. Right, so according to the map, these are the last two. I know from my little foray outside that C has not got an enemy in it. So... I'm going to check room F, and if need be, chuck my stamina, and then just back down the corridor, punching him in the face. Oh, her. Sorry. Wow, stamina's really good. Okay, so, that's, uh, okay, so I could have been trading bullets for that instead. Who are you? Heather. Sorry for burning you, Heather. Diary entry. Dear Diary, this must be a nightmare. This horror can't be real. A few hours ago, I went to check onto Ashley when I was confronted with I don't know what. It looked like Simon. His body was covered in a thick layer of ice. What's worse is I could swear I was getting muscle voices coming from that thing. Almost like Simon was frozen inside. He was crying for help. That thing would have killed me if Francis didn't put it aside and help me get down the hall. The others have just put a makeshift barricade in the middle of the hall to protect us, but honestly, I don't feel safe anywhere, and I don't feel I can even trust the members on this side of the barricade. I've now locked myself in my room, and all I can hear now is Francis yelling about the dogs and Nigel and Alexander arguing about the rest of the group. I just hope we'll wake up for this nightmare, and when I look, I'll be happy to find this entry missing. Oh, denial. It is a powerful human emotion. And here's the mysterious screwdriver. Which you're using to fix a camera. Ah, oh, so judging by the tech, this might be late 70s, early 80s? I would imagine so. Ah, sweet space. Okay, so now I've got a good load of loot. I've got an important item. I'm about to get this, the bee doodly. Susan Palmer. Or chem fluid. Oh, poo, have I just run out of space? Wait, hold on, didn't I? Oh, yeah, I was about to say, there definitely was one in here, wasn't there? Okie doke. We are doing good. We are doing good. Just in case things go south pretty fast. I'm going to head in here. I'm surprised I can't interact with that. 
and use the star head to get the fuse now. Okay, so fuse got nothing in. Okay, just thinking if I was a many times if I was a game developer, which I do not have the slightest slightest amount of brain cells to do, I would have hidden something in the pockets of that. Okay, so now we've got Lab B. I'm going to grab the caffeinated drink again, just in case. And let's make sure everything is fully loaded. Actually, if we've got so few pistol ammo, I may as well, because the dogs are incredibly fast. I need the shotgun for them. I might as well use this on whoever the hell's going to be in Lab B. And then just quickly switch to the hatchet and finish that off. Right, okay, Lab B. So we've got two exits. So if I go through this one, I can circle round through there, leading them. Really? Ah, oh, shit. Really? Okay, I know it's just... I know I've put them on easy, but blimey, some of this stuff is anticlimactic. Hello? What the hell was that? See, th uh, there we are. That's how I get up the ladder. So, Lab B report. The samples that Nigel and Ethan have given me to examine are quite fascinating. It seems C-35, the ice devil, uh, produces a chemical compound that has similar properties to liquid nitrogen, but rather than just freezing the affected organism, it converts it so it can stay alive and active even when in freezing cold temperatures. However, the chemical has a side effect. It appears that when the affected organism dies, a chemical reaction occurs and the chemical compound becomes more like calcium chloride, only much stronger. This is what causes a dead organism in C-34 to dissolve away in seconds. The reason for this remains unknown to me, but hopefully in further studies I will find out why. I converted the chemical compound into a liquid solution i'm calling c34 chloride solution for the time being i still need to do some tests but so far it seems this chemical might be a replacement for common ice melt ah. right time to steal shit is that there's uh, that i'm kind of cold at the moment so let's grab that Gunpowder. Okay, doke. Right. So let's review. So I've got the thing I need to get in order to get up onto the roof, in order to get the electrical cable, in order to get into the storage shed. Oh bollocks! There was a clue, wasn't there? Bugger! I've forgotten. Oh come on, roll. Come on. Remember, your brain's only slightly pickled. That was it. It was wait for dinner at 7.35 p.m. So 0.75 or 19.35. One or the other. So since I'm there, I may as well... Oh, yeah. But... Okay, I get that the whole thing is uh, resi-inspired. There are quite a lot of things that are very resi. But blimey, the whole having to go back and forth to uh, storage boxes is annoying. Right. Now, last time I went out, a place I'd already been, there was a dog. So what have I got? Okay, I'll go for rifle. Oh, bogger, yeah, I'll go... Bogger? Yes, I'll go out this way. Now the bastards? Right. Okay, so let's try 073... Oh no, okay, no, it's a three digit. Okay, so that's a uh, 735. Oh, it's one of you. Okay. Okay, I probably should have started playing this on normal. Right, okay, so let's grab, sh let's grab stuff. Steal all the things, motor oil. And... Spicy's Bass! The unknown Spice Girl, the one that actually had the talent. So, okay, so I've got motor oil, I've got the fuse, so I just need to go upstairs now. But, annoyingly, I need to go back to the storage room. Again. There we go. 
Right, big bastard on the roof, I would... Oh, come on. Don't dick me around. Right, radio tower. Ah. No oh, shit, my ass! Bloody hell, you that legitimately scared the crap out of me. Jesus Christmas. Because I sort of vaguely heard some moaning in me ear. I turned round as a giant burly guy I didn't expect. I'd like to say it was the first time that ever happened, but unfortunately nine. So there you are, right. Can I please get down without falling to death? There we go. Okay, so that, I imagine that would have been a... Oh, thank Romany. Imagine that would have been a climactic boss fight. Now I need to find where the hell the... Where the hell, just where the hell? Okay, ah. Oh, that was lucky. You are good, okay, you're a broken one. Now, can I do this without hurting myself? I can. Oh, I'm crouching. I never even realised that. I wonder why I couldn't run. So, try this without the key. Okay, okay, so I well, know with sections, so I want C for definite, so I can open up the garage door. But I need to, I need to do two. I don't, I don't know. A or B, let's go with A or B. That's assuming I can solve the puzzle in the first bloody place. But hopefully I should now be able to pick up that, sorry doctor. Yeah, but I don't know if you may have noticed throughout the game, but the coolant bar, bottom right hand corner, has been getting lower throughout the game. So there is a time limit. Okay, so I've got the three ingredients. Now. So let's see. So I can now go to the generator and solve it. Whatever the hell the puzzle is. And I know it. I want area D for definite. And then A, or a and or B. And I have done. Yeah, I've done. I've done everywhere. Oh. I know from a previous bit of nonsense that there is no buggers in here. Right, okay, so. Okay, and grab audio reel. And. Right, so I. I really don't want to do that. So I want. So I definitely want D. Um. B or A? I don't know if it actually matters. It says t it said we need we can only do two. So instead of doing one by accident, I'm gonna do B. Let's hope this works. Um, does that not turn you on? Everything is in place. Is there an on switch? Better focus on just getting power to the garage on one other section. Okay, fine. I know that's D, so I want to keep that on. It says. One other section, and I haven't, to my knowledge, known anything. I can't do that. Okay. Let's do... Let's do it dirty style. What am I missing? What am I... I've missed something. I've missed something in all the notes I've been reading. There is a clue that I have missed. All the interior sections of the base are connected to the exterior section. So I need to have the exterior section connected in order to do the internal one. So, heck, which one was that? Okay, so according to this, C is a, wait, C, C is the, well, I'm a complete and utter total chuffing idiot. C 
C is the garage, E is outside, so I need to go E then C, right. Go on, Bennett, I have to freaking reload again. I've been running around for 10 bloody minutes. Well, unfortunately, I've reloaded a few times and I've run into the same goddamn glitch every single time. Something's happened now. Everything is health drinks. Everything else drinks. Now, so I'm now down to my last two bottles of, I'm presuming some form of alcohol, in order to warm me up. But at least now I know what it was. Was it C and E? We're in the final stretch, so I'm just going to charge. C and E. So possibly E first, then C. It should go E, then C. Right? Yes, power. So now I'm presuming is when all the bastards come out to play. So... Get me shotgun. Running, 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 running. Ignore voices. I'm presumably hearing... Right. Glug, glug, glug. And now to save... I'm still convinced those bastards are going to get up. And now to use my final save, because what I need to do is I need to go out, find the snow cat. That's the keys to the other car. Snow cat. Escape vehicle. So, in that case, presumably, because there's probably going to be a big-ass fight... Might as well grab all my shit. Well, presumably, goodbye. Jesus, fuck! Christ on a bike! Scared the ever loving piss out of me. Because we've been through that place so many times and it's been fine. Right. Presumably, there's good. I thought that was open for a second. Go on, Bennett. Right, so now... You... Can I... Power? Here we go, boss fight. Running, 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 running. So we've got a demon polar bear. Which I just killed. Okay, it's time to get the hell out of here. Okay. Oh, okay, it, it took me. It took, it took control away from me. It's the end. After my encounter with the polar bear, I quickly went back into the garage and started up with the snowcat. Once I heard the roar of an engine, I instantly left the research base as fast as the snowcat could take me. While I haven't escaped the snowstorm, I at least escaped the nightmare that is base 75. And I feel like I might have a better chance of making it out this time than I did before. I might have lost a finger to two from frostbite, but in the end, I survived. Oh, okay, and we got a ranking system. So, easy. 53 seconds. Okay. Okay, fair enough. So there's actually a decent amount of replay value in this short little game. Created by Alex Olienski. Very well done, mate. Very well done. So that was Frostbite, Deadly Climate. I enjoyed that quite a lot. I think I might actually, now I know what to do so I can quote unquote speed run the game. I might actually just play it again for myself, maybe stream it if I get back on Twitch again sometime. And just play it on like, the harder modes just to see if I can get whatever the biggest rank is. But <laughs> this is free. This game is free on Steam. And I heartily recommend you give it a play for yourself. It is a lot of fun. A damn good day game indeed, Mr. All Ye... A damn good, day, Matt. damn good game, Alex. By the way, for the moment, thank you very much indeed for watching this silly little video of mine. If you enjoyed it, have a little look-see at the channel. See if there's anything else I've done which takes your fancy. If so, have a little look-see. Barmies, barmies, my friends. Subscribe if you want to. But most importantly, please be wonderful to each other. Good night.